What's up guys, welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys are wondering, when is the Cybertruck gonna be completed? Is there any leaks for the Cybertruck? Well, today you're in luck because we're getting a lot of information coming in about the Cybertruck, especially in terms of production, where it's being designed, where it will be produced, and there's a lot of transfer of employees and materials lately, so there's a lot of information, so definitely stay tuned till the very end. And we also will be talking about the Tesla Model Y in demand, especially in China, even though the price actually was hyped up, I think Teslas are just getting so popular to the point that no matter what the price is, as long as it's somewhat reasonable, people will actually buy it. That really just shows you that the company, even though there's a lot of electric vehicle competition around the globe, they are not afraid about all this crazy competition. I think their cars and their brand is good enough that they will always sold out. And let's check out the Cybertruck because it's being built in the Gigafactory, Texas. And the facility was known in the electric car community as the Cybertruck Gigafactory. Now, over the course of several months, more and more production equipment and also personnel was actually spotted in the massive Gigafactory, Texas. But here's the thing. It suddenly become pretty noticeable that the Cybertruck would not be produced first in the Gigafactory, Texas. It would be the Model Y instead. And that's because everyone started seeing the Model Y Gigapress machines that was spotted in the area. Now, this Gigapress machine right here is actually meant for the Model Y for the rear bumper. Since the rear area of the Model Y takes roughly 70 pieces, it makes sense to get a Gigapress for the Model Y. Therefore, you only need one continuous piece. It's just so much easier and it's more simple. And the Gigafactory Texas is already starting its operations with the Model Y, not the Cybertruck, which really made people kind of frustrated and also disappointed that it wasn't the famous metal truck. The Model Y is a cool vehicle, but I feel like some people who order the Cybertruck, they're waiting a very, very long time, especially how unique the vehicle itself really looks. Now, fortunately, it also appears that Tesla may plan to have Cybertruck production in the Gigafactory, Texas, but it's just currently somewhat delayed because recently you got whole Mars blog who is actually going on Twitter informing that they're building the Cybertruck in the 4680 Model Y production line in Fremont and then they're just gonna move it over to Austin, which is the Texas Gigafactory. Now you may be wondering, why are they doing this in Fremont? Well, that's because you're gonna be needing a lot of tweaks and a lot of small things to fix up. If you make a massive production line in the Gigafactory, Texas, and then suddenly you gotta tweak this one small thing, it's gonna cost a lot of time, money, and major delays just to tweak that one small thing. So they're doing a small prototype production line in the Fremont factory for the Model Y 4680 battery cell version and also the brand new Cybertruck version just to make sure that everything and all production goes smoothly. They're making sure nothing is malfunctioning and they're also making sure all the pieces fit together. Employees are well organized before shipping the plans to the Austin Gig factory and then they'll start making the massive production line. So if you're wondering if Tesla is even making the effort to create the Cybertruck and get it out as soon as possible to consumers, they're trying their best. Right now, they're just testing a lot of like their prototype factories before going through. Now, obviously though, I really want to be seeing the Cybertruck under production by the end of 2021. I'm guessing it probably will be shipped out maybe 2022. That's probably when it will roll out, especially how they're also focusing pretty heavily on the Roadster, the semi-truck, the Model S refresh, and the Model X refresh. Not to mention that the Model 3 is constantly being sold out, that they just gotta keep cranking them out. And right now, Musk, they're trying their best, trying to get like the 4680 battery cells out as well, the Cybertruck, et cetera. Now, we also just recently saw a massive Gigapress for the Cybertruck, which is an 8,000 pound Gigapress by Indra. And we should be seeing more and more leaks coming in about this sort of stuff. But just a mere fact that going back to the tweet from Whole Mars Catalog, keep in mind that they're already building a production line in Fremont. They're just testing the waters, making sure everything's all right, operational, before moving it back to Austin. So just take a sign of relief. A lot of individuals are kind of in the dark about the Cybertruck. They already put down their deposits. They already put down some money. And they want to know when the car will be coming. Well, it probably will be coming perhaps at the end of this year or next year at the very latest. Hopefully this year because everyone kind of wants to see the review of the Cybertruck. It's a really big vehicle. It's less than three seconds from zero to 60. I mean, it's faster than like a Mercedes GTR, which is like 3.9 seconds. I really like the car. It's like a really weird truck triangle shaped kind of vehicle. But so far, let's talk about the Model Y sales. Demand in China is spiking, even though there's a massive price hike. Now, I don't like it when Tesla does these price hikes 
as long as they don't do it dramatically or on a constant basis, I think their sales should remain pretty stable. Last week, Tesla increased the price of the two offered variants of the Model Y in China. The dual motor, long range, all wheel drive increased roughly seven to 8,000 RMB. And you also have the performance variant increasing around the same price, 8,000 RMB, which is roughly $1,200 USD. And that's a good chunk of money right there. Now, usually a major price increase like this is a major turnoff, but not with Tesla because there's such a big demand over there in China. I think even though with this price hike, still the foot traffic in the stores remain pretty constant. If you check out this tweet by Ray for Tesla, he's saying that even after $8,000 RMB price hike, the store traffic still remains unchanged. And there's even reporters visiting the Tesla stores in Shanghai multiple times. And out of 20 customers, 13 are willing to pay the difference and seven may place orders if the price stabilized, which I'm not really sure what that means. I think they're hoping the price might go down just a few thousand dollars before purchasing. But just the mere fact that majority of individuals that buy Teslas, they are kind of like a major cult. They really like the vehicle. Even though there's a pretty significant price hike, it doesn't really deter them since the vehicles are really so special. Now, if you look at other gasoline cars, for example, Mercedes, BMW, Porsche, if you see like a price hike of like $1,000, $2,000, it's a massive turnoff for a lot of individuals. But for like the Model S and the Model 3, Model Y, for example, if you increase it by 500, 1,000, 1,500 USD, sure, it's kind of a big sting, but at the same time, people are still willing to pay for it because you get that really nice, unique experience. When you get a Tesla vehicle, you're not done with the company just yet. You will constantly get over the air software updates. You'll constantly get more and more updates you know, as the time goes on, especially if you have the full self-driving beta. You got a lot of autopilot stuff coming in. So unlike other car companies, after you buy from the dealership, you're completely disconnected from the company itself. Let's say I get like a brand new BMW. That's it. I'm probably never gonna be contacting BMW again. Whereas Tesla, it's really heavily software based. So you really feel like nice connection. And you also have these like selected areas for Tesla superchargers, which is also very nice. And so far, even with the price hike, people are still buying them. Even here in the US, the Model S refresh, $10,000 price hike, which is pretty steep. But here's the thing, it's always constantly being sold out. If you wanna order a Model S right now, you gotta wait 10 to 14 weeks. It's continuously being pushed back further and further because more individuals want the car. And also the Model 3 is just gotten a major price hike as well, 500-ish dollars. It kind of stings, but still though, the vehicles are always constantly being sold out. Everyone seems to like it. It's one of those products that even though there's a slight increase in price, people just still swallow it, buy it, because that's kind of like their only variant. Electric vehicles are extremely popular and people love them. That's about it guys, thanks for watching. Definitely subscribe for more Tesla videos because we got a lot more things coming in like Autopilot, Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, etc.